live and we're hot and we're rolling what's up everybody welcome to the 34th welcome, episode welcome. of the turd coast podcast <clears throat> here's your host the wonderful amazing spectacular Zander. the salamander alexander commander banana fan of fander doesn't actually know how to play drums. Alexander! Oh, do you like my air drum solo? Yeah, that's pretty dope, man. Is that Led Zeppelin, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, oh, bro. Dude, you got it. Hell yeah, dude. Black dog? Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Dude. What? Speaking of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, I recently joined a Aqua Teen Hunger Force shit posting group on Facebook. Nice. Proud of you. Thank you. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> I looked at it. What, are you, what like, are you guys doing on that? I'm not doing anything. I just wanted to check it out, see yeah. if there's anything funny on it. Just so join I, the group first and then figure out what's going on in there. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Nobody's posting anything in 10 no, years? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A bunch of shitty. <laughs> Sounds about right. Shitty posts. Oh, the 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 ham banana with the with the Diddy face was on there. Oh, ham banana with yeah Diddy butt fucking him. Yeah, we can put that up. Yeah. That's beautiful. Whoever awesome. came up with that, shout out. Yeah, we're doing it, folks. Yep. It's actually we've actually made it thirty four. That's how old I am. You're thirty four years old. I don't even remember how old I am, but probably that same amount. Thirty four. Yep. Jesus Christ. We made it. Yep, we did it. So what's next? Death? Yep. God damn it, dude. I gotta go fucking punch my dog. Yeah, go punch him. We'll pause for the cause. You know what? I I love dogs. Dogs. I'd rather bitch at a dog for just barking than than bitch at a cat for just smelling like a goddamn litter box. Right? Am I right, folks? Cat people, fuck off. Please don't keep this. Um so recently I discovered that uh if you take too much extends, there's reverse side effects. You know, I'm getting married lately. I'm getting married lately, so well, not lately. Soon, I'm getting married soon, so I decided to order some penis enlargement pills. Hell yeah, dude! Just so, like, you know, yeah, see what happens. We're kind of broke because I'm trying to buy a house and we're trying to pay for a wedding. So the least I could do is try to make my dick bigger. Yeah. That's you right. Know? At least make it seem a little bit worth it. Yeah. 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 At least on the wedding night, it'll be like, wow. Holy shit. Oh what? my God. You know? It'd be like, a, whose dick are you fucking me with right now? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? That's me. That's me, baby. Holy <laughs> shit. All natural. Thanks to Extend. Let me see that thing. <laughs> <laughs> but now. Yeah. You've been thinking about dick pills a lot? Nah. No. No. No, no. Just most of the time? No. Yeah. As we inch closer towards the wedding, maybe. That's cool, man. But welcome back, folks. <laughs> welcome back to the 34th episode of the Terry Coast Podcast. Um, so what did you talk about when I was gone? I don't remember. I think I believe That's I told good. you to cut it out. Okay, cool. So Future Clint. Um, <laughs> but the usual, guys. Um... Rolling into it. Sports rants. You got any sports sex going on? Uh, any no. type of sexy, Dude, sexy sports Dude, I honestly, going on? I wish my we weren't recording on my cell phone right now because last time, last time I checked, U of H was losing to Duke with two minutes left. They're down four, which isn't everything. I mean, it's basketball. Shit changes quick, but. Wait. Oof. College, college, college b-ball? basketball. Yeah, U of oh, H. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, That's Lord. the most pressing sports. Uh, and last time I checked. The Astros were winning one nothing against the Yankees, so hopefully that that held. But perfectly, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't have any goddamn sports sex except for the live sports that are happening right now. Well, 
I fucked that up. I totally misspelled that. But sports sex, uh, Astros, obviously. Clint's going to look into that, but my search was way off. Yeah, this guy doesn't know how to type this. I don't know how to spell. I don't know how to count. We played poker the other night. Maybe that's the alcohol has to do with it, but it was not a good night. Oh, they lost by three fifty four fifty one. Sorry, Mikey. I know you're real upset about that. I personally don't give a shit about uh, college basketball, but I was rooting for my city. You know, it's just how it is. You got to got a rep. You got to hold it down yeah, for the lost H-Town. It. Damn, they dropped it, dude. They were the number one seed. But it's crazy, dude. They scored a hundred and like five points against Texas A and M, and then. They can't. They score fifty fucking points against Duke. Oh my god! And the Yankees came back oh seven to one. God, this is the worst dude. day of my life. Oh my god! Everybody, turn so, this podcast uh, off. Astros uh, <laughs> opening day happened. Um, god, I just want to talk damn. about the, the first game. So we had them in a bag. I just want to say, pitching looked awesome. Hater looked awesome. Everything looked awesome. But Dubon stretched out that hit and got called out. Yeah, that did happen. But it's crazy. If you watch the slide, it's like his right. hand got stuck on something right in it's front of the debatable. plate. It like started doing this. It was weird. It, 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 it wasn't the plate. It wasn't the plate. He was out. I have no problem saying he was out. But it was like weird the way his like, I think he thought that's why he was like recording because he thought he was touching the plate, but he wasn't. He was touching the ground right in front of the plate. It was, yeah. it was weird. But, but uh, first yeah, game. Yeah, he was out. He was out. First game. Yeah. It's It's not the series. You know, like yeah. why? You know, we still had people on deck. Like it's just one of those decisions. I was just like, eh. It was a nice game to watch, but then again, today they got seven to one. They got blown out. Yep. Sucks, dude. Those tickets were fucking expensive too. So, sorry to everybody in H Town. Yeah. So the sports eggs of the week is. But goddamn. But I will admit, it is just the beginning of the season, and the Yankees. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean. Astros would be fine. Yeah. Oh, we'll I mean, be there. Ver- Verlander's out still. We'll definitely so, see yeah. the Yankees again at some point this season. Later on, I'm sure. Yep. Uh, Texans, recent uh, player pickups. No, oh, Daniel Hunter, dude. Welcome to H- welcome back to H Town. Apparently, he's from around here. I don't. I don't know. I can't keep track because Houston put, puts out so many fucking dudes into the NFL. Yeah. But uh, yeah, shout out Daniel Hunter. Welcome home, dog. So how how What's are you up? feeling? How are you feeling? I'm happy Going about it. The next season, I'm happy it. about it. I think we probably need to draft like a wide receiver, maybe a cornerback, maybe a defensive tackle. But we don't have a first round pick anymore, which right. doesn't necessarily mean you have to pick somebody just because you're in the first round that you wouldn't pick in the second round. Whatever. But we traded that out of the first round, so it's like right now we're just in sit and wait, like wait and see what happens because Nick Casario likes to trade up in the draft. But does he trade back into the first round after trading out of the first round? I don't know. Yeah. Kind of uh, doubt it. We're probably waiting on day two. Is there a talk? I saw there was talk uh, in changing ownership. With the no, Texans. no, no, no. It wasn't changing ownership. It's just Janice McNair is getting older and older. Okay. And, you know, it's like Bob McNair died. Grandfather thing. And it's Cal McNair has been running the team the last couple of years. And it's just, it was just a legal, it was like a. Thing it was they have to approve you know like the league has to approve new owners and since Cal was becoming the owner it was like a uh I don't know what's the what's the word I'm looking for it was like a ceremonial kind of thing like the league has to approve it but he's been the owner the last couple of years okay. you know it's like a family wife. thing yeah yeah they're passing it down to their son basically nice yeah. well I mean I I'm I'm happy they made a bunch of moves you know yeah. picking up all these. You know, go Texans, baby. Yeah, fuck it. Sounds um, good. Yeah, I mean, we got new linebacker, got some a couple cornerbacks. I mean, I, I'm all right with all the pickups. We're just it's wait and see mode now. Tamiko's gonna coach them up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. See how we draft. See all that shit. Um, uh, nerd rants. We got any any nerd rants going on? Games you've been playing. You've been, yeah, been playing him? GTA Online. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were telling me earlier. Yep. It's been a blast. I'm, I have... I, I sell coke. I sell weed. I sell meth. 
I forge documents and I also make fake money. So money laundering, not laundering, cash creation. So money counterfeiting, counterfeiting. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I'm doing. Clint's all, been trying to talk. I'm me doing all the bad download stuff. Download GTA Five yeah, and just, just all the bad stuff. Just dip my toes in and go full boat. What What is y'all's game called? Uh, so we got the Gulag Boys. The Gulag Boys. Gulag Boys. Um, what? There's on, there's multiple gangs. Oh, there's multiple. Yeah, there's a bunch of. Them. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I don't know what anybody else is. I don't know what anybody else's gangs. Oh, okay. Are. Yeah, whatever. Wait, so how many gangs are you part of, Clint? Um, so me and my friends kind of have our own gangs, but we're all in each other's gangs. So we're uh, like, we're like a gang. So you're dipping your ink. And... Yeah, dude. We just we have we all have our separate. We keep our business separate. You know, we don't mix business and pleasure, but we work for each other. You know what I mean? It's like working in like a like a communist like a sweatshop. Sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Something like that. So capitalist America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> well, awesome. Yep. Um I've been playing Skyrim. Nice. You in a, you in any Skyrim gangs? No. No, no, no. I I did join a Facebook group, a uh, Skyrim Facebook group. <laughs> uh, dude, you gotta quit posting. joining groups, dude. You gotta quit looking for I, communities I have, of people. I, honestly, you saw my feed. Just yeah, nothing it's, but lying. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's dude. Nuts. He showed. Okay, so he pulls his Facebook up, right? And it's like eight videos in a row of just animals getting devoured by other animals, just like metal ass nature shit. I'm like, how is that your entire fucking feed? There's like four crocs on one wildebeest. So you went from fucking conspiracy theories all day straight to just animal death. <laughs> That's all it is all day. It's either whatever's going on, conspiracy theory, and then just a warthog getting attacked by a leopard drag up a tree. <laughs> I'm just like That's are that's you insane. Did, does does the algorithm want me to book a trip to book to book a trip to Africa and see this? No, for real, we did we're gonna do that for our honeymoon. We're, we're going, going to Africa. Y'all going to Africa? Yeah, we're gonna try going to back see. to the motherland. <laughs> we're yes. gonna try to see some live action leopards. I'm tired of seeing the videos. I want to see the live. You're gonna go try to find a wild leopard? Yeah. So maybe some lions? I want to see the warthog. I want to hear with my ears the warthog squeal, like in like a safari <laughs> park in Africa or no, like in the wild, bro. In the what? You guys are gonna go out just you and your lady. Well, there'll You're be a guy driving a find tractor a, thing, and we'll go drive out there. So some crocodile Dundee types gonna be out there. Yeah, showing you guys not crocodile Dundee. Okay, so some I don't know uh, uh, Django. <laughs> what? Some Django <laughs> shit. Africa, man. Africa. Like when the movie first started? Because <laughs> no, that's bro, racist, bro. Uh, you should definitely not do yeah, that. That's a... When there's lions around. You know? What is it? Uh, Joseph and the Lions? I don't know. Django and the Lions. That's what it is. Django and the Lions? <laughs> Yeah, we're getting derailed here, folks. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But uh <laughs> so you and your lady are gonna go out in the jungle and try to find a leopard in the so wild. Far. Leopards, lions, elephants. Leopards and lions in the wild. What if uh, maybe what if imagine seeing an elephant stomp out a lion? Yeah, imagine getting stomped out by an elephant. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be videotaping. <laughs> The elephant stopping out the line. <clears throat> I'm just worried about you get night. you and your lady going and getting eaten by a leopard. Nah. I mean, I can do the we cast watched, by myself. Dude, we but. watched so much Naked and Afraid. We'll be fine. Oh, you guys, you guys are gonna get naked out there. <laughs> we might. <laughs> so you, your lady, and fucking you know Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, sounds cool. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'll send you videos. I'm gonna be naked, but just have my phone. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you just have like a loincloth, oh, but it's just a pocket yeah. <laughs> for your phone. It's just we're naked and afraid out here. Yep. <laughs> um. So, as you know, folks, we're the type of guys who just love to let it hang out, right? Oh shit! Am I? <laughs> my bad. My bad, man. Um, 
if you haven't I'll noticed, we're balls out. We're balls out, kind of, kind of. Kinda, yeah, we're definitely we're balls out, kind of couple. We're definitely. Right? Yeah, we're ball. I don't know if we're a couple, <laughs> but we're definitely balls out. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's cool. It's fine. We'll, 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 we can be gay. We'll, we'll let the the internet. Judge. Yeah, you guys are we gay? <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Leave so, a comment in the <laughs> fucking. I know we've kind of gone off on these like word segments and, but I just want to bring a new one. Last, this is. This is called the new British slang. Oh, God damn it. So, these are new. This is the most popular words in the British pop culture of 2023. Okay. Prepare your mind to be blown. All right. Let's see what these fucking First word, limey Brits have come uh, up with. Bagsy. Bagsy? Yeah. And that is, that is in it, real English. What is that? That's British. That's the equivalent to calling a shotgun in the vehicle. Oh, Bagsy! It's <laughs> pretty yeah. cool, right? I no, mean, I hate it. No, no we fought good. a war about shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> Bagsy. Or it's what, like is, dibs. what is the reference? Or it's like a dibs. Yeah, then just say dibs, dude. I don't know why you gotta say bags. But they're British. So it's Bagsy! Bagsy! Dibs! <laughs> no Bagsies! Gay! Next one, bloke. That's pretty bloke. Cool. Yeah, bloke's it's fine. I, I'm simple. okay with bloke. I mean, oh, next one. Ball grow. Ball grow? Ball grow. <laughs> Bog roll. Bog roll? Bog roll. What is that? It's a toilet paper roll. Oh, bog. <laughs> bog roll. I like that one. Ooh, no. From the depths of the bog. Yeah, it sounds like medieval. <laughs> Sounds like fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Botched. Yeah, that one's uh, botched. Oh, uh, budge up. Budge up. <laughs> what does that mean? Scoot forward or what? Bulge up, bro. Budge up. <laughs> what? Means you got a boner. Everybody can see it. <laughs> This is some you breaking. This is some breaking news. People um, from England are gay. <laughs> so budge up means taking a ride on the tube. What? <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully that no means... one tells you to budge up or move over. Man spreading isn't cool. <laughs> oh, budge up. That's what they say. Like, you, I, you ever man spreaded? <laughs> hey, budge up, brother. <laughs> oh, my bulge is budged. I sit on the bus like this. <laughs> no, dude. America. Um, Budge up. Chin wag. You just chin wag me. <laughs> yeah. You he bloke. Chin wag. He chin wagged me, didn't he? Hey, we're having a chin wag. Right now, we're having a chin wag. Oh, is that just two dudes? Just talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chin wag. <laughs> I don't like what chin you're doing with your face. When you say that, <laughs> I'm tired of this British hey, shit, dude. My That's chin's fucking wagging. terrible. <laughs> All right, we're done with the British this, shit. This uh, it, it's <laughs> pissing me it, off, dude. dude. <laughs> it's reminding me how we saved their asses in two world wars. It's you know almost I mean? July, <laughs> so God damn it! After we had to fucking fight them for our own freedom. Do the British engineer the roads? Uh no they did not. Okay. Yeah it was like fucking so one of the Roosevelts or something. Maybe Hoover. Who the fuck engineers the roads nowadays? Nowadays? Yeah. Joe. Is Biden. it a blind guy? <laughs> yeah, he's not blind, but he's fucking old as shit. He's almost blind. <laughs> um, but oh. I don't know. Uh, fucking so I don't know, like Joe Biden. Yeah, dude, definitely. You like the roads? Yeah. Who? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Whoever's yeah, going to fix the roads, if you're going to... Fi- hey, I don't vote, but if you're going to fix the roads... Yeah, it's more of a local I'm going to take your vote. Nah, it's just everybody... It's, Dude. it's the corporation that is America is just getting cheaper and cheaper and trying to find ways to I save think I money. T- I think I talked about corners. this the other day, but it's bad. Um, I'm in the process of buying a house, so we got a loan. So I like talked to my lenders, and I was like, so hey, like... I'm borrowing money from you, right? So where are y'all getting y'all's money from? Like, I'm not, I'm not like, it's just a hypothetical. 
You know, yeah. just like, like no, no, you know, whatever. No harm, no foul. You mm-hmm. know, like just it's just a question. You know, and she was like, she started laughing. She's like, you know, you, you know, like we we borrow money from you know the the banks, and I'm like, aren't y'all a bank? Like y'all, you know? Yeah. She's like, she started laughing. She's like, okay, you know, I get it. Like it's. All the, she didn't say it bold face, but she started just basically laughing with me and just kind of agreeing. She's like, "Yeah, basically our job sucks, but yeah, it's all a scam." Yeah, <laughs> like we yeah. just middle we just middleman you. You could yeah, go do this well, yourself, but yeah, you didn't. Well, base we're basing the number like your debt on how much debt we have, and then that's how much. That's what I just don't get. Like. And you make payments, they pocket a little bit of that payment. Yeah. And even then it's all digital. It's like numbers in the yeah, bank. Yeah. It, there's no physical it's yeah. just like You paid them to it's, do there's nothing there. It's just numbers yeah. in a digital world. I'm like uh, it's like oh, it's so crazy. It's yeah. crazy. It's a crazy world we live in. So yeah. So you got ripped off the other day? No. No, I got tugged off. So the lady that you're borrowing money from told you, yeah, this is basically a scam, what we're doing here. Oh. Yeah, buying a house sucks, folks. Uh, (laughs) This day and age. I feel like that's not how buying a house is supposed to go, dog. It's not. No, it's not supposed to go. Usually it's the the buyer that... How long until they take this house from you? Being sketchy. (laughs) But... The seller is like, oh, blah, 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 blah. But whatever. I don't bring my personal life into it. But we're good. You son of a bitch. Yeah, dude. Tell no. this bitch what, what you really think. Um, It's a process. But thank God for Coors Banquet Beer. We haven't done a non-sponsor in a while. And this, oh, yeah, this dude. This will be our first non-sponsor. We both got Coors. I got the Banquet. Yeah, I'm more of a he's light got boy. The light. Watching my figure. He's a bitch. I'm not a bitch. I'm just like more like watered down. They got the classic 1873 can. Yeah, zoom in on that. Here, I'll zoom in on it. Are you pissing? Let's hear a joke, Clint. Oh, I got a joke for you, dude. Let's hear it. So, I was, I was like, uh, I was like, uh, I was doing, the, I was, I was doing the thing, right? Was, uh, the other day, I was thinking about this thing, right? Nice. Yeah, the other day, I was, I was thinking, right? So that's that's like a kind of a joke. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were thinking. <laughs> oh, I'm not I telling you a joke, dude. Process. I don't know any jokes, man. You lie. I've never even That's heard a, it. I've never even heard a joke before. You're a rat bastard. What? I don't know any jokes. Yeah. Says the man who writes jokes on a whiteboard. Listen, I have all kinds of jokes, all right? All right. All right. Well. But the issue we'll move is. on to the next topic. Cause they're all on my phone. Obviously. They're all on my phone. I have a million ideas on my I have like 300 so, fucking things on my phone. But we use my phone to record. It sucks. Wells. Wells. We need to borrow the goddamn, goddamn camera. The camera. podcast is falling apart. Look at us, man. The, dude, we We're need, at each other's throats. We need 4K. We loved each other. They need 4K. Two weeks ago. But now, look I at shave. us. <sighs> Anyways. You can't even see that with this bullshit iPhone. Yep. You can't even see my pores. You see how they're exfoliating right now? Yeah, dude. You need that HD shit. Yeah, the 4K. Hell yeah, dude. You do look... Actually, no, no, look at you. <laughs> you look pretty fucking exfoliated. Pretty good. If I'm, right? I'm, I'm honest, I mean, yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. I got this yeah. new lotion at Sephora. It's pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got this super gay shit that I rub on my face. We I went to the so store. <laughs> we went to the store today. We had we've been really stressed out about the house because the seller's been such a crazy bitch. Yeah, we had some retail therapy. You ever had that? 
Oh, retail therapy? Oh, yeah. where you just spend money to make yourself feel better? Yeah. And you buy some blue sh- Converse? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Get your foot on my table. <laughs> How's it, man? Oh, These are brand freshness. new, dude. So that's your retail therapy right there? Yep. What your what'd your lady get? She got two pairs of shoes. So. Bad bitch. Well, she got her wedding shoes. Nice. And some other shoes. So But I will give it to you. Rack room shoes, uh non sponsor. Uh thirty percent off shoes. code Turd Coast. Oh yeah, just use Turd Coast. <laughs> just go up there. You can use it in store or online. Um, if it's not tur- it's like Turd Space Coast or it's Turd Coast 420 or Turd Coast uh, TFTB. TFTP. I, I, yeah, I'm not really sure. It's something like that. TFTP. Whatever. Um, no, Turd Coast. TC. TTCP. Titty. Yeah, TTCP 20. You'll get 20% Titty-city. off lady shoes uh, <laughs> from Rack Room Shoes. Discount shoe. code hashtag Titty City. Um, yeah, and if you use it in store, just keep, just yell Turd Coast at the yell, right. counter, uh, at the register, just over and over until, um, the lady calls the cops and then works uh, just, for us every time. Yeah. Just run out with the shoes. Oh man. You know what I got? Yeah. We can show these people. I can, and I can actually send you. We got our first no, Dick paid. What? Wait, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do dick pics. No, it's that not was, a dick. That was a, we were joking butthole. about that earlier. It's, oh, it's butthole. I mean, I'm still. Right, we're not doing it. Okay, everybody, this is Xander's butthole. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Somebody that Xander's. Nope. Sent, somebody sent Xander this butthole. What? Okay. What? 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 No, I sent someone my butthole, and they paid for it. Hell yeah! What? Oh, you got your first buy? Yeah. You got your first download on OnlyFans? Dude, hell yeah. It's all confidential here, but it was me. Five dollars and picture. twenty cents, my dog. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I never thought of that before, dude. That actually pisses me off a little bit. That's the best move ever. If anybody ever tries to cheers you, just punch their fucking beer, dude. That's so fucking good. Dude, bro, bro. Bro, Dude, spill what the my hell? beer, bro. Oh man, oh, that upsets me that I never fucking thought of that I'm before. To fucking dab you up and you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick move. Dab you oh, up God and you fucking it. spill my beer, dude. Yeah, my bad. Dude. If I'm being honest with you, when I did it, I wasn't thinking of like, huh, this would be a funny dickhead cool, thing man. to do. I was Cheers. like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> and I just went for it. And when it happened, I just tears, it all came together for me, dude. <laughs> just got a fucking full open beer, just yeah. mug, just uh, cheers, man. Just... Hey, bro! Congratulations <laughs> on getting engaged, brother. No. Just, <laughs> just punch the shit out of my beer. Oh, that's such a good move. Yep, we we're talking about um, artificial intelligence earlier. It's a big hot topic. Clint yeah. is pretty firm on his stance on it. Hey, I'm we were talking AI, earlier. I think AI. AI is gay for one. AI doesn't know what's funny. Um, it also all AI is doing currently. Maybe in the future it'll be great, a great thing. But currently, all it's doing is like taking jobs away from artists. It's all. It's, it's just the greatest and most random ass digital graphics fucking you know design but ever like anybody artists, who's a digital artist is like okay. you no longer have a job like no more making logos for fucking companies that's over with so that's pretty lame yeah no i agree i agree i'm just saying people are artists and they have to make money some some way i'm not saying making logos and whatever making backgrounds and Making fucking, you know, shit for streamers and all kinds of shit I mean, like that. But I all that shit's like, over, dude. Say you work at Nike, you've had that job for 15 years yeah. for digital graphics. And then AI comes out. Yeah. Dude, then you have an endless supply of... You better learn how to manage the AI or you're fucking out of there. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it gives that... Maybe... I mean, that's what we're talking about. Like, I don't agree that... 
people should use it to write jokes or write scripts or yeah i mean that's what the whole writer strikes about yeah and i don't agree with that but as a as a human you want to know more so if you have a a a program that you can filter in it's just like a youtube like when early days when you you ask a funny whatever you're searching something on the internet like you're just searching something in the ai mainframe or i guess they're kind of are you are you confusing ai with algorithm but what is ai ai is like it's it's so it's something that's doing its own it's like doing its own processing it's, it's, it's receiving it's, information from yeah. people searching or inputting for sure questions or inputting right now right so that's what i'm saying it's built but for it is, people to build creation right because why no, else just, would you what it's use doing AI? currently is it's taking like as much no know, is known and it just kind of when you ask it to do something it does it and it just uses its breadth of knowledge to come up with something that it thinks that you, you know if it's like making pictures or if it's writing scripts it's just like if it's like all right write me one sentence about you know 1967 it'll just tell you it'll give you just a fact about 19 you know what i mean like right it just it just goes from the base of knowledge about and whatever I, you're I asking agree about that or I like agree give me that. a picture of 2020 and it'll just come up with a picture right. based on what was going on in that's a little you know bit what more I mean? like, agreeable than write a sentence about the history of the dinosaurs because yeah. then you can take that and implement it in other contexts like yeah just because you search show me a picture in 1960 in ai it'll show you a picture of whatever and you yeah. can't really distinguish that as fact or fiction it's because it's ai it's just generating. yeah that, but that's what i'm saying that's what it's doing now but what they're trying to get it to do is to think for itself and to come up with its own right. concepts and to basically do that process with itself and continue to learn based on the questions it asks itself kind yeah, of that's not that's a way that like it's I, a, I mean that's what a that's what like a thinking being is you constantly are confronted with these issues and you you know overcome them or you you know you learn something from them or you don't you know but whatever I think, but yeah and i i understand that's what that they're I, trying to get a computer to do yeah. it's just to do that for itself but i think at this day and age we're relying too much on technology to achieve because as humans, we want to know everything. Like, obviously, like, this is natural. Like, I want to know this. Death, afterlife, moon, sun, pity. Is he's... Pity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, um, I mean, just all bullshit aside, like. Yeah, he fucked those boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all bullshit aside, dude. It's getting real with the oh, P. Diddy I can't stuff. wait for Bieber's confession. But what I keep thinking is, is P. Diddy just a distraction for the whole Nickelodeon thing? Like, oh, Nickelodeon? Actually, the diddler, you know? I think this is a new Batman spinoff. The diddler? Yeah, dude, I've seen a, <laughs> dude, I, the People are already done it all. It's already all over the internet. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm still in the diddler from fucking... I've heard that. The P Diddler, yeah, yeah the P Diddler, P Diddy, that's the P Diddler. Yep, the internet's hey, fucking. The internet's so much but smarter and did faster. Did you listen? That's to, AI uh, coming uh, up with that shit, dude. Joe Rogan had an episode with Cat Williams. Oh yeah. Did you listen to it? No, of course well, not. Well, it's it's really fucking listen, weird. I like Cat Williams. Cat Williams is fucking awesome. I love yeah, Cat Williams for like, sure. Despite whatever AI says, it's fucking. Cat <laughs> the cat AI is talking shit about cat waves. Hey, who knows? Yeah, he's starting shit with the cat. <laughs> the big but cat. he did speak of P Diddy being weird. People, yeah, a lot of people exposed. have. So I don't know what's. I mean, I'm me, guys. My 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 reels in my life are flooded with African animal maulings and conspiracy theories. And P Diddy. Yeah, I mean, that's one of them. Conspiracy now Diddy's one of them. Spirit and that came to light. So. But I don't know. So I saw something, which this is shit I'm learning now just because it's a fucking thing in the news. But like people have been like, yeah, you don't want to go to Diddy's parties. bro." <laughs> like mm -mm. there's weird shit going yeah. on at Diddy's no, parties. Trust me. And honestly, if I'm trusting anybody, I'm trusting 50 Cent. And I seen 50 Cent go, yeah, don't 
Mm-hmm. The 50 Cent. I, I don't go to do these parties. Sh- isn't supposed I don't to be do that dead. shit. <laughs> was supposed to be dead. He got shot like what nine times. Listen, dude. All I gotta say is, is 50 Cent always has a. He, I mean, he must live in Houston. I honestly don't know, but he has a box in the fucking. I always see him at the uh, Texans games. He's up there. He's like literally the last last year. They, uh, the Texans always have a 50-50 raffle. So everybody puts in, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. if you put in a dollar, 50 cents goes to charity, 50 cents goes to the raffle. You know, it's 50-50. Well, now it's 50 cents, 50-50 <laughs> challenge, oh, and it's for yeah, the 50 yeah, cent yeah. foundation, dude. It's fucking, he's, I'm I'm with 50 on this, Gotta right? Some P. Diddy to is. The, Houston, the melting pot that we are. Yeah, dude. I dig it. But yeah, no. Shit is strange. Strange shit. Yeah. Strange shit. But then again, back to the, we don't have to talk about it much more, but the AI thing. I believe there's pros to cons to everything. So, sure, AI can be a great thing, but it also be a horrible thing. Yeah. The Terminator could happen. John Connor. Yeah, dude. So, it's just like beer. It can be a great thing. Just let's just call it what it is. It's fucking Skynet. <laughs> All right, Skynet is coming, and everybody knows it. The most, like, honestly, the most conspiracy theory that I've really, really has intrigued me is the flat Earth. Wait, not that I believe it. It's just, it's just, it's so crazy. Please, to me. please. Explain to me. What? What about the flat earth is is bothering you? That it's a thing. That it exists? Yes. Or that maybe it's real? No. No, no, no. Let's talk about it. That it exists. The flat earth exists. Okay, fine. So when you dig deep into it, it's crazy, man. It's the way people try to explain everything is just so astronomically crazy. Like the, the, I don't know, but that's what I've got into lately. Yeah. And it's just so weird that people will like, oh, fucking Joe Rogan. Uh, he interviewed, what's his name? Bravo. Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo. And <laughs> Dude, Eddie Bravo was a wild man. Dude, they had a little tussle about the flat earth because Eddie Bravo was a flat, ear- flat earther. Really? Yeah. And Joe Rogan's. Is this on the most recent episode? That he was I on? can't remember. Or but was this a while back? It was a snip because I saw I saw the the clip and all the bullshit that oh, we yeah. were seeing. And it's listen, just dude, so weird, man. It's so weird. I don't. I'll be honest with you. The Earth could be flat, and the reason I say that is because I've never gone and done the experiments that prove that the Earth isn't flat. However, a lot of people have, and I've even seen videos and shit like that which isn't fucking conclusive proof that's not proving it for myself i understand that but pretty sure the earth is fucking round i mean there's like i don't know it's like they proved this shit a long time ago like like a really long time ago (laughs) like yeah and even then they have videos of say it could be i mean this is none of this is true it's just all bullshit. But there's a video of an old lady. And I've been tempted to ask, like, my my grandma. Like, she was born before the moon landing. Yeah. So, it's like, what were they taught before? You know, like, before. Because that's when all Roswell happened, the 50s. And, you know, like. Yeah, but that was an isolated but incident. But to my point is that there's a video of a lady that's, like, over 90 years old. And they're videotaping her. And. She, they're asking their questions like, "Hey, what were you taught in school like about the the Earth, like about science?" And mm-hmm. she was like talking about it being flat and all these just weird, yeah. weird things. Well, okay, so this is something that people don't necessarily like to acknowledge, but there are. So, if you read the very first chapter of the Bible in Genesis, goes back to the Bible. That's yes. what they taught. They like it's taught that there was the, the firmament. They that God separated the fucking waters from above from the waters from below, and there's a firmament that keeps the waters from above. And when it rains, right, it's water coming through the firmament. It's 
There's lots of shit in there. It's crazy. About that. Okay? So there is some biblical backing to that. And before people could have proof that the earth isn't flat. Because, I mean, when you're on the earth, it's so big, it looks flat. When you yeah. look across a football field, guess what? It looks out. fucking flat. But it's just... And the human eye can only see so far. Yeah. So... Either way. Whatever. Regardless. Fucking... It's just weird to me that now all of a sudden everyone's like debunking the basis of, you know, just what we've always learned. <laughs> like, no, that's wrong. Yeah, I don't know if this it's is... being debunked by flat earthers. So I, I... Well, not that it's being debunked. It's, it's, it's in... So another, another thing, so just another thing that you can kind of use as a piece of evidence, I guess. Um, since I've never gone out and like you know dug a well here and then went up you know a hundred miles north and then dug another well and waited to see when the sun hit the middle, you know, whatever fucking bullshit, you know. There's ways to prove that there's, there's a circle and it spins and all that shit. But regardless, fucking every other body in the sky the moon all the other planets that you're going to see occasionally everything is circular the sun everything is is a big fucking ball so if it's a flat thing and it's coin shaped then it always has to face us at all times and it can never turn and if that's the case then i don't know what the fuck is going on in space you know what i mean but if it's a big ball and no matter which way it's facing or which whatever is happening you know, it oh, always yeah. looks circular because it's a giant ball, just like everything else in space. Well, that, for whatever reason, seems to make more sense to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like the whole gravity thing. Like, imagine being so drunk. You have the spins, right? Sure. So, if, if the world wasn't, like, sure, the alcohol is affecting it. It's making it even the spins, but. Okay, just, so gravity and your Ability to balance are co- two completely different right, things. Okay, but, <laughs> that is not gravity. But what I'm saying but yes, is a, like when you get to that point, your body <laughs> wants to just fall to the earth because it's gravity pulling you to the earth. Exactly. <laughs> no matter what the situation is, you may exactly. fall. Exactly. That's not like gravity changing. That's just you succumbing to gravity because your balance is so far. And to my so point, far. gravity. Explain gravity if the Earth's flat. Yeah, well, okay, so the what I've heard is that it's actually... There it's, has to be some type It's a of form of magnetism. Correct. That it's... You, you're magnetically stuck to the Earth, and that's why. But that doesn't make sense, and I'll tell you why. Because the way magnetism works is it's strongest while you're touching the thing you're magnetized to. So if we're magnetized to the ground, then while we're on the ground, it takes the most amount of energy to go from touching the ground... To right above the ground, right? Like when you have two magnets, it's right. fucking hard to get them yeah. apart. But once you get them apart, they're apart. Or, so it would be easy to it would be easy stronger. to just if you could if you could separate your feet from the earth, you could fucking just get away from it and just not be on the earth anymore. You know what I mean? Like magnets don't work in that yeah. way where it's equal pull the distance you get away from it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt. And then there's a the whole concept of grounding, like. Walking on the ground with your bare feet. <laughs> I love talking science while my pants are unzipped. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Just pull it out. You guys want to see it? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> but anyways, so what are we talking about? <laughs> the magnetic field of the Earth's core. So gravity versus magnetism versus... Yeah, there is a magnetic field around the Earth, but that's not what's holding us to the planet. Right, right, that's, right. If anything, the magnetic field actually protects us from like fucking radiation from the sun right but it has to play in the fact that the um earth is spinning yeah right i Just don't because there has to be some type i don't of, know so i think what so it, i think I'm what it matters it is, is earth has an iron core and it's fucking superheated so therefore the fucking like there, if there's a polarity to this fucking giant chunk of iron where'd you go to school me yeah. Uh, San Jacinto College. <laughs> <laughs> I also watch a lot of uh, science Bill television. Nye, the science back guy. when Discovery Channel didn't <laughs> suck, I watched a lot of that. Also, the History Channel. Back when they talked about war all the time, I watched that shit too. 
But now, I don't really watch a whole bunch of Pawn Stars or Ice Road Truckers or anything. I don't really fuck with that shit. I don't watch a lot of fucking lizard lick towing, but, <laughs> you know. Hell yeah, brother. That's just me. Oh. But anyways, um, but this is just my layman's understanding of basically life, the universe, and everything. No, I just find it intriguing because it's a thing. But what the flat earth yeah dude i mean it's, it's flat crazy. everybody knows it's fucking flat <laughs> i like our theory better we spoke about it before the fat earther oh theory. yeah dude i don't know if I, if the earth's a ball if tell. or if it's just a big rock but if it's i know one thing for sure rock. i'm a fat earther <laughs> i'm definitely a fat earther <laughs> yeah i'm definitely a fat earther dude um <laughs> All right, there's your joke. I just told you a joke about awesome. that. Great. Fat Earther. Love it. Yep. So, other than AI. Yep. Um, Which, again, pros and cons. Dude, you know what I've come across? What? So, everybody knows. I've stated it multiple times on the podcast. I only masturbate to still images now. It's, Me too. It's a thing I do. I'm over the videos. Only stills. Um. So apparently there's AI porn. Close on or close off? Huh? Um, only close on grandma. Close on grandma is what I'm into. No, dude. Naked hot chicks. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Yeah, all day. Anyways, um, so I've come across through my just pages and pages of, you know, still images. AI porn. And it, I'll be honest with you. It looks pretty good. Like it kind of looks pretty Wait. pretty real, but it's crazy because it, it's a it'll be like a you know let's say a blonde chick with big tits and like a big ass and she's just like naked and you're like is that real like no nah, that's a cartoon and then you look underneath it and it's like seventeen or like seven different versions of that same chick it's like oh the same chick with smaller boobs oh th- and she's black so and then here you go and it's like it's crazy dude that like that's a thing that's AI that's what people devil, are using for AI but unless I'm jack unless I'm going to jack I haven't been jerking <laughs> off to the AI porn but it is an interesting thing that I have come across it's very intriguing it's fucking it's it, they'll have like the same it'll literally be the exact oh, same dude. face and it'll be like 12 different versions of it and it's have like you seen, so you just you pick your that, favorite the thing it's ads like, for the virtual girlfriends Oh, virtual girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah, I have like... one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> dude, you know what's crazy, dude? Is uh, on uh, Xbox, on one of the fucking, whatever, Game Pass or whatever, there was some game and it was like, a, I looked at it and it was like a Japanese like dating game. Yeah. It was like an anime dating game. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, dude. <laughs> no, it wasn't, I'm pr- pretty like, sure it wasn't like these... banging. It was like, you know, yeah. some kind of weird high school fucking <laughs> Weird straight stuff. anime, yeah, it's kind of girl game or yeah. whatever, you know. Just like you become hey, the popular gr- be girl at school. Yeah, you exactly. can do anything to me. I'm like, bitch. I'm just trying to scroll through my Facebook, <laughs> you know. And then my lady's like, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so your Facebook feed is animals, conspiracy theories, <laughs> and AI porn. <laughs> Or no, virtual girlfriend, AI sorry, porn. virtual yeah. girlfriends, which is, let's be real, that's AI porn. I mean, I mean, once they get a little better at it, I mean, you know. What do you got in your reels? In my, I'll, I'll go to mine right now. We can. Uh, uh, you want you want to see mine? I mean, then let's borrow that fucking ca- Wells. We need the Wells, camera, dude. The I was, I don't understand what the problem we is. Lose dude. our fucking goddamn mind. I'm gonna lose my shit. I just buy a goddamn camera, dude. <laughs> yeah. No. All right, Wells. We don't need you anymore. Whoa. Let's not do that. Um, You're just going to watch reels? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my reels? <laughs> just watch some fucking reels? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's not exactly how podcasts work. No, it doesn't. So, we'll go back to the notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go pee. You guys listen to Xander for a minute. So, walk front pisses. So, 